have 3D printed the world's first complete heart using a patient's own cells and biological materials. Until this moment, scientists have successfully printed only simple tissues without blood vessels. The technology that we've developed in the lab uh, is uh, based on a small biopsy that is taken from the uh, fatty tissue of the patient. The cellular and the acellular material is uh, separated while the cells are uh, uh, reprogrammed to become stem cells and differentiated to cardiac and endothelial cells and other cells. In the United States, heart disease is the leading cause of death among men and women, and heart transplantation is the only treatment available to patients with end-stage heart failure. Worldwide, only 4,000 transplants occur annually, and 20 people die every day waiting for a transplant. With a shortage of heart donors, the need to develop new ways of regenerating a diseased heart is crucial. The engineered heart matches the immunological, cellular, biochemical, and anatomical properties of the patient, which researchers hope will reduce rejection rates by the patient's bodies. We look at the CT images of uh, patients, we look at the blood vessels, and we create uh, uh, matching tissue that, uh, in addition uh, to the match of the cells and the, uh, and the biomaterials to the patient, it also uh, matches the anatomy of the patient. The heart created by the researchers at Tel Aviv University is small, about the size of a rabbit's heart. It has the muscles, fibers, and blood vessels of a heart, but it is not yet able to pump independently. So the, the next challenge would be to mature these hearts in the lab, to interact better with each other, to provide better uh, electrical signal, uh, so that the heart will uh, have pumping ability. And then after we achieve that, uh, we would like to go to uh, uh, small animals, initially to uh, implant these hearts in parallel to the, uh, to the hearts of these animals. The technology is in its early stages, and human transplants are still a number of years off. But Professor Dvir hopes that within the next decade, organ printers will become a staple piece of equipment in hospitals, giving new meaning to the term, have a heart.